Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. About a month or so ago, I started really noticing dimples on my booty and my thighs, like more cellulite than I'd seen in so long. So there's a few things I started doing, some every day, but most of them just like once a week, that have made such a huge difference in not only reducing the cellulite, like helping get rid of it, but also just in helping reduce the appearance of it so I can feel more confident all the time. So these are seven kind of weird, but super effective ways that are gonna help you reduce cellulite too. Okay, so here's the thing. Anyone can have cellulite. It's not exclusive to someone who is overweight. Any shape or size can have cellulite. Women tend to have it more than men, super. Um, and your genetics do play a role in how prone you are to having cellulite, like how much you'll have, where it'll be on your body. And then of course there's a lot of other factors. So I accept that cellulite is normal and it's something we all potentially experience. However, that doesn't mean that I have to be like, yeah, I love it. Like I can do stuff to reduce it too. But I think it's important to understand like what cellulite is, just at like the most basic level as well. So in your body, between the muscle and the skin, little pockets of fat get trapped in these bands of tissue. And so it's really just how that fat is being stored and like how it gets like into those little pockets. And that's where you see the dimples on your body. So that's why some of these things are so effective in helping reduce it because it's about how you can make that move inside your body basically. One of the things that I noticed immediately started making a huge difference for me was training with progressive overload. So for those couple months after having a baby, I wasn't doing any strength training or weight training or anything. And that's when I really started noticing the cellulite the most. But then as soon as I started picking up my resistance bands, adding my weights and really challenging myself each day to go either more reps or increase those weights like week over week, I started noticing that cellulite reducing so, so much. The more muscle you have, the less room there's gonna be for those little pockets of fat to form. So it'll reduce the appearance of any cellulite, even helping reduce the appearance of loose skin as you build more muscle. That was like the quickest, fastest thing where I was like, oh my gosh, in like even a week or two, I've noticed that cellulite reducing because my muscle is starting to come back. So if you're not already training like that, Make sure you download the app because I have great workouts in there for you. But really the key is making sure that you're adding on and challenging yourself with that progressive overload. Again, meaning increase your weights or increase the amount of reps that you're doing for each move. Another thing I do every single day is lymphatic drainage massage. So you've probably heard of these massages. Like people will go and like get them on their full bodies, but they're so easy to do for yourself. It's ridiculous. So there's these little lymph ducts that are like right under the skin. So this isn't like giving yourself some deep massage. It's really like, think of like petting yourself, which is technically my least favorite type of massage ever. If like someone you're paying, like just is like, oh, that's not a massage. But what this does is help improve circulation throughout the body. So you essentially, wherever you want to rub, you can do this for your skin to help like decrease inflammation and puffiness and everything like on your face but you just like flow toward the heart. So you like rub down. But when I'm doing this for my cellulite, like on my thighs and my booty, I actually use a dry brush. So that's what this sucker is. And I'll show you guys how I do it. But I essentially will like start on my lower body and I brush up toward the heart because all of the ducts like flow toward the heart. So you want to like move that circulation toward the heart. So especially on the booty and the thighs, like I'll get like up in there. <laughs> And the reason that dry brushing is so effective to really help reduce the appearance of cellulite is because as you're brushing up, as you're increasing that circulation, it helps smooth the skin because you have like the actual brush that's exfoliating you. So it'll help smooth it. It'll help plump everything up. So it really does reduce that appearance and improved circulation is also going to help to reduce how that fat is like stored in those little pockets. So eventually if you're doing this a couple times a week, it can in the long run help actually reduce the amount of cellulite you have in those areas too. Another thing I do every single day that helps actually reduce cellulite, not just to reduce the appearance of it, like get rid of it is having collagen. So it's really specific what type of collagen actually will help this, but collagen is the most abundant protein in our body. It makes up our tissues, our skin, like everything. What it does is really help improve the elasticity of your skin. And when you have improved elasticity and plumpness, Again, you're gonna have more space for any of that fat between the muscle and the skin so it can be smoother and not like tight crunched up in there and all like nasty giving you all the little dimples. 
So type one collagen, like I said, is the one that's the most abundant in our body. I get it from my natural beauty. So we use type one marine collagen in here. It has been like research. They show that it improves elasticity in as little as two weeks. And so it's not just about the skin on your face, although this product is amazing for your face skin in particular, but it is about everything, like your entire body, your skin. So whether you have cellulite on your belly, on your booty, on your thighs, if you're consuming type one collagen daily, it can help increase that elasticity and decrease any of that cellulite. So it's gonna be in combination obviously with all these other things I'm talking about. If you do just one of them, maybe you'll see a little bit of progress, but if you do all of these things and we haven't even finished yet, it's gonna be amazing. Something I just started doing this year consistently, like a couple times a week, and it's probably the most enjoyable thing I do to help get rid of cellulite, is I spend like 30 or 40 minutes a few times a week in an infrared sauna blanket at home. So there was a while where I was trying to go to places and do like the infrared sauna, but it's just a lot of work. So the one I have at home is from Bon Charge, and they're an incredible holistic wellness brand out of Australia that does amazing products that are all evidence-based to help with just kind of everyday things. But the reason why I love this specifically for reducing cellulite, I mean, it's amazing for just in general helping detoxify your body, to help with muscle recovery. But with cellulite, what it does is really helps increase circulation. It's gonna also help increase collagen production, which is amazing for decreasing that cellulite because there's just smoother, there's more elasticity, so everything can move where it needs to go. And it also will help break down fat cells. And like you can burn calories in it because it's like warm in there. All of those things are gonna help reduce cellulite. Compared to like a traditional sauna where you go in and the air is all hot around you and you feel like you're just like getting claustrophobic, like I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. The infrared sauna blanket just heats up your body. So it raises your heart rate, kind of to like if you were exercising, except that you're relaxing. So it also releases these endorphins. So you can kind of have this very like euphoric feeling when you're done with it too. So I typically will use it at night when Ryan and I are just watching TV. But it's so easy to set up. It takes like a minute. It heats up so quickly. You get in and you can adjust it depending on how hot you want it. So I started pretty low, but now I've gone up as I've gotten more and more used to it. One of the biggest benefits for me in just a couple of weeks of using it has really been the muscle recovery. I know I don't spend enough time stretching after my workouts and I need to be better about it this year, but just having that time in there to really help improve that circulation and decrease inflammation has already made me start to feel just more like mobile and flexible post-workout than I have like the last couple of months. So if you guys wanna check out the infrared sauna blanket or any of the other Bond Charge products, I'll put a link down below for you with the code. I'm so excited to keep trying this out this year and see what difference it can really make for that cellulite too. One of my favorite hacks that works every freaking time to help reduce the appearance of cellulite quickly, like less than two hours, is self-tanning. Like, it just makes my heart happy. I feel more confident immediately. Like, I just have that, like, summer glow. But tanning will really help reduce how much you notice the cellulite because any of, like, the little stuff, like, those little dimples and things, it'll kind of smooth everything out. So this is one I've been using forever, um, except this is actually a new ultra dark. It's, like, yeah, literally ultra dark. But the Loving Tan 2-Hour Express, I freaking love it, you guys. You put it on. Two hours later, you can wash it off because who has time to sit around and self tanner for eight hours? No one. But it gets dry really fast. And then immediate confidence boost again, and I just feel like every single time it helps reduce the way that cellulite looks so fast. So especially if I'm gonna be in a bikini or I'm gonna have my legs out or where, whatever area you might be self-conscious of with some cellulite, when in doubt, if you need that quick fix, self tanner is always it. One of the easiest things, easy, 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 like minimal effort, you don't have to do anything, easy ways to help reduce your cellulite is to increase your protein intake. So I always say at least five servings of 20 grams a day is like ideal. So look at your day, like think back and think about all the protein you have. 20 gram serving is roughly the size of your palm, so kind of like use that as a reference point. Depends on where you're getting your protein from. But I'm talking like chicken, fish, your red meat, any of your veggies, tofu, all your protein, trying to increase that to be over 100 grams a day. So one of the easiest ways to do that, obviously, is taking like plant protein. I use my Love Sweat Fitness Plant Protein, of course. But wherever you're getting your protein from, just aiming to get those five servings of 20 grams or more is going to be a huge help in reducing your cellulite. So 
The Love So Fitness Plant Protein is great. You can get 23 grams in the peanut butter. The chocolate and the vanilla both have 20 grams or organic non-GMO. Make sure you're getting a lot of clean protein and doing that with your workouts that I was talking about earlier is going to be the key in really, really helping make sure that you're building that muscle. The more muscle you have, like I said, the less you're going to see that cellulite because there's gonna be less space in between the muscle and the skin for those fat pockets to form. Those are my seven kind of weird things I'm doing pretty much every day to help reduce or get rid of my cellulite. Again, I totally get, I might not 100% be able to get rid of cellulite, that's fine, I accept it. But I'm gonna do whatever I can to smooth it out and make it look a little bit better so I can just feel more confident. And as always, if you like this video, sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click, and if you have any really good hacks for getting rid of cellulite, drop them in the comments below. That's why we're here, to help each other out. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat, so we'll see you next week, bye. Yeah.